Uh, hi, yeah, my name is Stuart. Um, I'm going to be performing a poem uh, from my collection, uh, which is currently available on Amazon at the moment. It's called The Awakening. Uh, it's The Awakening by Stuart Peacock, uh, so if you do like this, uh, be sure to look it up on Amazon. Uh, so that's the quick plug and advertisement over. Okay, so this is the first poem from the collection, which is also the title poem, uh, which is The Awakening. <clears throat> it's an elusive creature, that, that creative spark. Flashing fragments and me moments melted away in the invasive heat of reality lost to the dark. After the cycle of the same old steps ends the day. Long may it slumber if we do not stop to ponder the potential all around us, be it rushing or lifeless. If we detour from day to day to stare in wonder, we realise the creativity the world can possess. Look at those eyes, pools of personalities and stories, and lonely castles lying dormant after past glories, choked by twisting branches and jet black thorns their tendrils slowly sucking the life out of our lawns. Observe ruined buildings of mouths agape and sticks clamped together into a star shape. Near fading footprints stamped into mud, close to dying leaves drenched in blood. Our ears ring with noise confined to four, a symphony of recollection, sounds we call. Silent songs heard from a stationary violin the echoing words of virtue as well as sin. Look at the others who have chosen this deviation. They have borne much, uh, they have lost much, bore the same frustration. But on this new route, the essence is recovering. The inner creature absorbs all, the body unmoving. Hollow eyed masks filled with deeper meaning, half open, half closed a state of dreaming. Masks with faces that don't want to be found. Mouths wide open, but yet they emit no sound. It's an elusive creature, that creative spark. Mending broken pieces, showing us the way. A torch that guides us through the dark, but it's power charged by the light of day. Thank you. Okay, um, and another one. Uh, this one is called The Air of Authority. Um, it's basically an anti-establishment sort of, uh, yeah, against the man sort of poem, so I hope you enjoy. <clears throat> An authority hangs in the air, dictating how we should act, telling us which rags to wear. We signed its spectral contract. It encases us in sensible skin, Perhaps a tasteful t tattoo or two, it may permit, if it speak no sin, or breathe any dreaded taboo. It weighs, it weighs down on us the worry that we may break its laws. It does so fire us into a flurry without any corporeal cause. Unusual utterances tutted at, all oddness is overpowered by those with the thinking hats, the worst kind of coward. We may still yet break free, crush the calm and collected, and voice our own decree, go against what is expected. Passion is but the only po uh, poison that can fell this cruel beast. Once engulfed in emotion, its hold over us has ceased. Thank you very much. <laughs>